What's up, everybody? So we're on the top of Mont Eagle, Tennessee. Come on, car. You can go ahead and get on over. Come on now. That car got a little scared. My name is Sean, and this is Mr. Chris Brown. Hey, he's a trainee over here. I'm happy to drive. Now, he's going to be driving here in a little bit, but uh, we're about to go down Mont Eagle, Tennessee. We've gone on, on the way to Dalton, Georgia to take a load, and then we're going to be coming back up to Nashville. So I figured um, I would drive over the mountain so he could see it for the first time. And... I hope that traffic won't be there when we get back, but uh, we'll come back over the mountain later and he'll go back down because we're going to Florida. So we're going to get some training on this mountain. So I figured I'd go ahead and do a video and uh, show you what it's like to go down a, a steep mountain, uh, which is Mont Eagle, Tennessee. Um, Mont Eagle, Tennessee. So here we go. We're going to go down it and we're going down it in an automatic 2024 automatic international. Okay. So. Uh, Yep, hey, there's another road right there. So I'm gonna show you what it's like. Now there's a brake station we gotta stop at up here. We'll all stop at it, do a little walk around before we go down, and we're gonna go down it. So let's get into it. All right, so we just stopped here at the top of Mont Eagle. There's a brake station. You have to stop at this brake station. You have to, uh, you have to stop. You don't have to go to a parking place, but you do got to go up here to the red light where it's red light, green light before you go down. They just want to make sure your brakes can stop. If you pass this, it's a ticket. You don't want to do that. This is a bad thing. All right, right here to the left is going to be your runaway route. Even though it says green, you still just need to come to a stop. All right, runaway route two. Runaway route one, they're both open. You want to look at that and make sure. So that way, if you do have a runaway truck, God forbid you never have to do that. I've never had to do that. Never had to take one, but if I did, no to do. Sometimes the uh, Tennessee Highway Patrol will set up right up here and they'll watch people that go by this thing and then they get you. Um, speed limit is 45 miles an hour for trucks, period. Okay. A lot of people in this video is going to comment, oh, that guy going around you, he was light. It doesn't matter. It's 45 for a truck. So go ahead and you speed up. See, I'm going 41. I'm going to do my jake brake. My jake brake is right here. I'm going to go ahead and put it on full force. Tap the brake to kick it on. See, I'm at 47. So I'm going to hold the brake down right here until I get down to about 45 and let go. And the jake brake, if you got a good jake brake, it should hold you. Okay? But you don't want to go above 45. You're going to have people go by you flying. But I'm telling you, I've, I've, I've known a couple drivers that, that lost, that ruined their career by, they ran that station, got caught 65 and a 45. But that's the best thing that happened to you. You could die. Yeah. Uh, they say that, you know, you can go down a thousand, thousand times too slow. You can go down one time too fast. So well, Snyder's flying. A lot of people can say, oh, he's empty. He can do that. Doesn't matter. That's the speed limit. All right, now I'm at 41, so I'm going to hit the gas. That's going to kick off my Jake brake. So I'm gonna go ahead and let it go up to about 46, 47. Tap it, tap the brakes one time, and now it's gonna bring it back down. If it don't, I'm gonna hold the brakes just a tad and let off of it. What you don't wanna do is you don't wanna have a long, hard brake, because that's what smokes them up. And a lot of people burn their brakes up when they're driving because they, um, they're in the wrong gear, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, this being automatic, you know, you can change gears right here too. Like if I wanna go down, it says 10th gear, I don't want to be in 10th. If I want to go back down to 9, I can, I can tap it like that, and that lowers it down. You can do it like that also. All right, so Jake brake is pushed a bit back up, so I'm going to slow down, hold the brakes down a little bit, let off of it. Now I'm at 47 miles an hour, y'all see? And it's holding steady, and I'm a full load. Now, you remember when I was talking about the trailer thing? You can alternate it if you needed to, which I don't need to right now. You don't want to pull that down and hold it. But if you wanted to tap it, 
to alternate between your trailer and your brake, you can you can do that. I used to have to do that when I didn't have a good jake brake. You'd, you'd hit that a little bit, hit that a little bit, you know, a little bit at a time, back and forth. But if you do don't have a good jake brake and you've got to use it, you want to use what you call a five mile an hour brake stab. That's where you you hold it down to reduce it for five miles, let off of it, let it go back up. Hold the brake down, let it go down to five miles, let off of it. It's a five mile an hour brake stab. So I usually never even use that thing, but that's one way you could use it for. All right, that's your advisory speed is actually 35 miles an hour for 75 to 80,000. It doesn't mean it's 35, that's the advisory speed. So all these drivers that are going around me, you know, going faster than me, well, they're not doing what they're supposed to be doing, it's dangerous. Dangerous. All right, so we got a runaway truck ramp coming up here, guys. Y'all wanna see what one looks like? I, I'd like to see what it looks like from inside the truck, not from inside the truck on it. <laughs> but that's one right there. If you case you got into a situation and you needed to take a truck ramp, there you go. That's what it is. Their main, their their focus, it'll stop you. You won't go off the top. But you can see where somebody took it before and ran up that way. It'll bury the truck in there. You'd rather do that than to kill somebody. Like the guy in Colorado. Over here. Uh-huh. I said try and get a view over here. You can yeah. see what they can go over. You don't want to go over that. You don't definitely want to do that. So that's that's the main that's the main thing, y'all. See, it's 45 for trucks. Now a lot of y'all are gonna say, well, that ain't no mountain, that's a hill. Colorado's got the huge mountain, they got bigger mountains there, and you know they do. But the thing is, a lot of people's died on this mountain right here because not taking it seriously. And yeah, it, there is bigger mountains. I give it to you, there is bigger mountains out in Colorado. But this one ain't no joke either. And if you don't take it seriously, it'll take your life. Remember, before I end this video, you can go down a mountain a thousand times too slow. Y'all go down at one time too fast. It's Trailing Life of Sean. Let's get it. Hey, if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you hit that like button and make sure you subscribe. You can follow me here on YouTube, Facebook, and TikTok. It's Trailing Life of Sean. Let's get it.